that. Night has fallen. It is time for this little bat to spread its wings and soar away. Like all bats, this creature is nocturnal. It sleeps all day and rises when it is dark. When daylight comes, it folds up its wings and rests. This bat is called the ghost bat. Bats are mammals. All mammals have hair and drink milk from their mothers. But bats are different from mammals in many ways. Bats' bones are lighter. And bats also have wings. So they can do what other mammals, what no other mammals can do. They can fly. This bat is called a short-tailed, leaf-nosed bat. Let's take a look at a bat. All bats have wings that are much bigger than their bodies. Here are the parts that all bats have in common. So let's take a look. I'm gonna tell you what they say. Their ears. Bats hear well. Many insect eating bats have large ears. They can hear sounds that are far away. Eyes. Bats are not blind. A lot of people say blind is a bat. That's not true. They can see well at night. Arms. Bats have two arms. One, two. An elbow connects the upper arm and forearm. Bats have two hands and can grip objects. Each hand has four long, thin fingers and a thumb. The thumb is short and has a claw. Wings. The wings are made of a leathery layer of skin that stretches between the arms and the body. So this. Legs. Bats have two legs. The knees bend backward, making it easier to crawl quickly. Body. Hair covers the bodies of bats. Some bats have thick fur. Others have thin fuzz. So here's a drawing of this bat and it has some fuzz on it. Mouth. Bats use their mouth for grooming as well as for eating, like so many other mammals. If you have a dog or a cat as a pet, you might see them grooming themselves, licking themselves to keep them clean. Nose. Bats have a good sense of smell. They use their noses to search for food and to locate their babies. All right, growing up batty. Bat mothers often gather together to give birth to their babies. In the spring, the air is filled with the chirping of baby bats. Baby bats are called and these guys are some fruit bats. Pups depend on their mothers. They drink their mother's milk. Some pups fly with their mothers as they hunt. Others wait at home for food. So this is a flying fox bat with its pup. Bats grow up fast. A pup loses its baby teeth when it's only 10 days old. At a month, a pup is strong enough to fly. At a year, a bat is all grown up. This is a fruit bat with its pup. Bats live at home called roosts. They give bats shelter from the weather, protection from enemies, and a place to rest. Caves and trees are favorite roosts. 
But bats also live in attics and cellars and under bridges. They live all over the world, except where it is cold. Here is a mouse-eared bat. And here are some flying fox bats. There are more than 1,000 different kinds of bats. Most have black, brown, or gray fur. The dark color helps keep them hidden in the night sky. But bats that rest outside during the day are sometimes a bright color. They may be orange, white, or spotted. Here's another picture of the flying fox bat. You see it has the orange in its fur, kind of like a real fox. After a good day's sleep, bats are hungry. Bats that live in tropical areas feast on fruit and flowers. They rely on their sharp senses of sight and smell to find their meals. Bats drink syrupy nectar from the flowers. They dig into sweet berries, bananas, mangoes, and other fruit. And that bat is called the long-nosed bat. Some bats are meat eaters. They eat fish, frogs, lizards, mice, and bats. Sharp claws and teeth help meat eating bats catch and eat their prey. Vampire bats are found in Central and South America. They drink blood from animals without killing their prey. These bats bite cows, pigs, and chickens and lick the butt, blood from the small cut. Okay, so first, let me show you a lesser bulldog bat. That one is just eating fish. This is what a vampire bat looks like. It's a teeny tiny bat. And it makes teeny tiny little pinpricks when it does eat the blood from animals. It does not attack people. And they don't even live where we live. Most bats are on the lookout for insects, right? So we learned that already. Most bats eat insects. An insect eating bat can eat half its weight in just one night. That could be hundreds of bugs. A bat scoops up bugs as it soars through the air. It uses a special kind of hearing called echolocation to find food. Mm, we learned about that too, but they're gonna tell us more. So let me just show you this picture of this greater horseshoe bat. And it's gonna tell us more about echolocation. Echolocation is a sense that helps bats find and catch prey. Bats produce very high sounds. These sound waves travel through the air. They hit an object. Then the echo is reflected or bounced back. If the echo is soft, the bat knows that the object is far away. If the echo is strong, the object is close. So this is kind of showing a bat making sounds to try to figure out where this bug is. So it's making a sound, waiting for the sound to bounce off of the bug so it can tell how far away it is. Bats must watch out for large predators. That means somebody that wants to eat them. Hawks, falcons, owls, and other birds snatch bats from the night sky. Frogs, cats, raccoons, foxes, and snakes hunt bats on the ground. Ah, oh, so even though they sleep during the day, there are still predators at night that want to catch them. So here is a green tree frog eating a bat. But even though 
there are lots of animals that are hunting bats. Humans, people, are the biggest threat to bats. People got cut down trees and destroy bat roosts where they live. They use chemicals in farming that harm bats. They are endangered bats in many parts of the world. This one is called an Ozark bat and it's rare. And the Rodriguez fruit bat is one of the most endangered bats in the whole world. Bats are not spooky. They don't spread disease and they don't drink people's blood, right? They, they bother animals, but they don't bother people. Bats usually avoid people. Fewer people die each year from bat bites than from bee stings. Bats are helpful. They eat insects that destroy crops. They also pollinate flowers and spread seeds. People around the world are working to save bats. So this is another picture of a flying fox bat. And it's taking some nectar. Okay. Did you know birds are not related to bats? Because bats are mammals and birds are birds. Um, one quarter of all mammals are bats. Wow. Some bats, some male bats sing to get their females. One kind of West African bat lives in spider webs. And Texas is the home to the most bats in the United States. Cool. All right, and that is our bat story.